Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we are in a 2024 Toyota Camry SE Hybrid, and we are going to do a highway fuel economy test on this car. I just filled it up at the gas station. We are currently showing an average of 45.6 miles per gallon. We've covered about 11 and a half miles. And we are gonna go about 57 miles approximately down the freeway, turn around, go back to the same gas station, fill it up on the same pump and see what it did. This car's EPA rating is 47 miles per gallon highway. Uh, and I will say that I've tested several different Toyota models over the last couple of years, and they are typically very accurate as far as their estimated mile per gallon, probably better than any other brand that I've tested. And my all-time MPG Champ was a 2022 Corolla Hybrid. Uh, I believe that car was rated at 52 highway, and it ended up getting 62 highway. Certainly don't expect that out of this Camry. It's a bigger car, it's only rated 47 highway, but uh, I would like to see over 50 from it. We will see what it does. Uh, as always, I have my dynamic radar cruise control set to 70 miles per hour. I'm uh, hopefully expecting smooth traffic and road conditions tonight. So I will continue on down the road and have an update for you very shortly. All right, we're about 20 miles from Legoland and we are barely averaging 46.8 miles per gallon, which would be extremely good in most cars, but uh, it is slightly off the pace of the EPA rating for this Camry Hybrid. And uh, the thing that concerns me slightly about that, at least for the final result, not that I care, I'm sort of dispassionate about this, but um, normally on this route, even though we end up with a net elevation gain of zero on the first leg of the journey before the turnaround is slightly downhill and then on the way back is slightly uphill. So if we're not hitting the EPA rating on the way down, it's very unlikely we'll hit it on the way back, but only time will tell. So as we drive by the San Onofre nuclear power plants, uh, we will continue on through the night and see how we do. I will get it turned around and have another update for All you. right, so we have turned it around. We are on our way back. We've covered just over 59 miles. The car alleges that it's only averaging 45.9 miles per gallon if, as we have acquired a new target for the dynamic radar cruise control. The fuel gauge has pretty much not budged in the 59 and a half miles that we've covered. So who knows, maybe the car is underestimating itself slightly or maybe it's correct. I won't be able to know until we fill it up and do the math and see what it actually got. I'll probably have one more update for you uh, before we get to the gas station unless something catastrophic happens and then we will spend some money and do some math. All right, we are almost back. We've covered uh, 101 and change miles. The car thinks it's averaging 45.6 miles per gallon. The fuel gauge has moved, but just barely. So I don't know, uh, maybe this car will very uncharacteristically for a Toyota hybrid miss its mark for a fuel economy test. Uh, or maybe it is uncharacteristically for a Toyota of any description uh, incorrect in its fuel economy estimation. I really don't know, but I'm interested to find out, and that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, we have made it back to the gas station. We covered 116.1 miles. The car thinks it averaged 46.4 miles per gallon. And the question that I posed was... Did this Toyota Camry either underestimate or misestimate its mileage, or did it miss its mark per the EPA rating? And unfortunately, the answer to that question turns out to be that it did both. So I filled it up. It took 2.628 gallons of gasoline, which means it averaged... 44.178 miles per gallon. We'll round that up to 44.2. Uh, 
And uh, yeah, so this Camry missed its market, overestimated itself by over two miles per gallon and uh, fell almost three miles per gallon shy of the EPA rating. I'm very surprised by that because normally the Toyota hybrids I test do very well, but this Camry didn't. I guess that's why it's going to get redesigned next year. So anyway, if you drive one of these cars, let me know uh, what you get in your Camry hybrid. And please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and have a great day. Bye-bye.